Magandang araw po sa inyo. Welcome po sa isa na namang episode ng online series ni Inang Pamantasan, kung saan ang pagkatuto ay walang hangganan. Ito ang PNU Talks. Chonun, Georgie, Borromeo, Sinsingnim, Imnida, Philippine Saram, Imnida, Kamsam Nida. Yes, ako nga po pala si George B. Borromeo at ako ang inyong learning from home body sa episode na ito. Ngayong araw ay uh, pag-uusapan natin kung bakit ako nagkukurian. Yes, pag-uusapan po natin ang aking adventure sa Global Citizenship Education, paano ako nagsimula. And uh, bago po ang lahat, ay inaanyayahan ko ang ating taga-subaybay ng PNU Talks na i-comment ang inyong mga katanungan at mga kuro-kuro tungkol sa ating episode ngayong araw. So huwag kalimutang i-like at i-share ang episode natin ngayong araw. Global Citizenship Education, My Adventure. So please allow me to share my screen. Ayan. So I entitled my presentation, Global Citizenship Education, My Adventure. So global citizenship refers to a sense of belonging to a broader community and the common humanity. So it emphasizes political, economic, social, and cultural interdependency and interconnectedness between the local, the national, and the global. So in this presentation, you can see Global Citizenship Education, which is also known as GSED or GCED. And in this uh, slide, you can see this image. Of course, this is not about the politics that we have, but uh, this represents GCED. My dear friends, I am George B. Borromeo, a public schools district supervisor from SDO Manila. Yes, in global citizenship education, there is global community. We share common challenges in the global community. And so we are encouraged to be global citizens. So in global citizenship education, usong uso ang global citizens kung tawagin. And how can we be global citizens? We must act locally in addressing global needs. That's how to become a global citizen, my dear friends. And you know, we are living in a vocal world. We are now living in a volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous, and uh, even a disruptive world. And uh, we know that uh, uh, we cannot easily define what will happen next what will happen tomorrow that we cannot predict. And so being a global citizen make us survive, especially this time of pandemic. In today's presentation, I will try to uh, tell you my uh, GSED adventure, how it started. Of course, the aims of uh, uh, GSED whether it is achieved or not, based on my personal adventure. And uh, we will go on the discussion, a very short discussion on the GSED core conceptual dimensions and, of course, my uh, re-entry application project as part of uh, uh, the program of the Korea-Philippines Teacher Exchange Program. And uh, I will uh, give a sharing on the GSED in SDO Manila now and the future. May I start my presentation with this? According to Ban Ki-moon, he is a UN Secretary General, education gives us a profound understanding that we are tied together as citizens of the global community and that our challenges are interconnected. So in that case, we are really encouraged to be a local citizens. And uh, 
for every challenges that we encounter, there are solutions. And who are the solutions? We are the solution. How I started my GZ journey? Yes, in 2018, I applied in the Korea-Philippines Teacher Exchange Program and fortunately became part of the program. So we were 12 participants during this year who stayed in South Korea for three months. Uh, that's March, April, May, and uh, mid of uh, June. And then bumalik na kami mid ng June. Yeah, so for three months, yeah, we, uh, we, we were able to... Uh, introduce Filipino culture and uh, mathematics at the same time since I, uh, I am a mathematics teacher in the Philippines so kailangan magtuturo pa rin kami ng mathematics doon ako pala ay magtuturo ng mathematics and my other ano uh, the other members of the 2018 KPTEP uh, iba-ibang field like in science um, social science and so on so in my case mathematics and culture. So, ipapakilala ko lang shortly ang mga nandito sa photos na ito. So, in the first photo, this was uh, during the, the welcoming ceremony with the 12 participants. Ayan po ako. Ayan. And the representative of the DepEd and uh, uh, the other representatives from UNESCO APSEU. And uh, this one, of course, we must be proud that uh, we are part of uh, this program. is sponsored by the UNESCO APCU. Yan, in partnership with the Department of Education in South Korea and Philippines. So dito sa, sa photo na ito, this is my uh, mentor teacher, the president of the Anglican community, the principal of uh, my host school, Namyang Jusongra Elementary School, located... Uh, in Hwangdo Yup, South Korea, that's about uh, one and a half hours from uh, Seoul, Korea, in the northern part of South Korea via KTX. Makukuha mo in one and a half hour. Yes, and this is my partner from Las Piñas and my English uh, translator, teacher. Na we are not allowed to go out without her. That's why uh, um, eventually well, we called her Omma. Yeah, and the assistant principal. Okay. So this is an English class. So I had the chance to appreciate a uh, Korean traditional food, the gultok. Okay. G or K, that's the same pronunciation. Gultok. It's a Korean honey rice cakes. Okay. So I was able to learn Korean uh, word like cool talk and then uh, um, it's English rice cake and uh, sinabi ko rin ang uh, ano ang cool talk sa Philippines ito yung kakanin natin ba traditional na kakanin and also Igniting more our GSED spirit we are able to conduct a workshop at the National Museum of South Korea uh, and we entitled the, the workshop Exploring the Pearl of the Orient, Unique Culture, Nature, and People of the Philippines by the Filipino exchange teachers. Yes, uh, GSED aims to be transformative, building the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values that learners need to be able to contribute to a more inclusive just and peaceful world. So as we delve deeper, let me present to you how GSED aim, aims to uh, enable our learners. So please allow me to uh, use some of my memorable and notable experiences that I believed helped our learners achieve the GSED objectives. So the first is uh, uh, to develop an understanding of global governance structures the rights and responsibilities, the global issues and the uh, connections between global, national, and local systems and uh, process. So in, in this uh, slide, as you can see, this is actually my project. So to help our learners understand their rights and responsibilities as a global citizen, I introduced a project 
called the uh, X plus Y project. Mat na mat, di ba? X plus Y project. So this features uh, Filipino and uh, Korean traditional dances, songs, festivals, tourist destinations, food, even money. I use money as a reward for them, but actually it's just a play money. But they were very happy in receiving this play money. All they thought, totoo ba ito? <laughs> Parang uh, tina I, I remember they were asking me, Teach, uh, Son Sing Nim, kapag uh, pupunta daw ba sila sa Pilipinas, ay um, magagamit nila ito? At first, sinabi ko, yes. And then, um, eventually, they uh, uh, they learned that it's just a play money. Tama, ah, teacher, it's fake money. <laughs> Ayan, anyway, natutunan nila yung value ng money at the same time, yung ano, yung, uh, yung uh, um, yeah, it's mathematics, no? sa um, conversion yeah conversion of money and then itinuro ko rin ang Philippine national costume and etc okay so in this project where we also talk about the issues and concerns of our country especially Boracay that during that time you uh, ito yung nagsara yung Boracay so that is the current issue in 2018 when the the government decided to close uh, uh, the place for the tourist yeah and so uh, That the learners, even the teachers, no, were asking me, why did Boracay close? Ayan. Another, to recognize and appreciate difference and the multiple identities. Example, the culture, language, religion, gender, and uh, common humanity. and develop skills for living in an increasingly diverse world. Okay, so as we travel around the globe, of course, we can see the beauty of diversity. Yes, uh, you can see how a citizen behave as far as culture is concerned. So visiting Nami Island, so I, I, uh, I, I am featuring Nami Island in this slide. Now, for example, you can see, define, and appreciate differences and uh, multiple identities. So in this place, you can actually meet various nationalities. That is the start of respect when you meet the various nationalities. So to respect one's culture, language, and religion, gender, and the common humanity, that's the password of global citizenship education. So in this slide where you can see the historic sites number 207, UNESCO World Heritage in June uh, 30, 2009, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage. It's a Hongnung and Yorung uh, royal tombs in Namyangju. This is very near my uh, place no, in Namyangju's uh, Songra. Okay, and uh, this uh, uh, shows the graves of the last king of Joseon. especially Empress Myung Song, who was killed by Japanese black guard. Okay, in this slide, there is language barrier. And we were greatly challenged by this uh, problem. But as you can see in, the, in these photos, they enjoyed every activity. This is actually a math class. I was teaching perimeter and area to grade three learners. But at the same time, I was able to embed the appreciation of one's national song and flag. Yeah, so again, this is to respect what we have and vice versa. And that is global citizenship education. Of course, Appreciating their culture through music means learning also how to play it. So they love music and sports. Korean students really love music and sports. And I had the chance to teach them also Filipina uh, traditional games like uh, sungka, piko, what else? Tumbang preso. Ba? And had the privilege to play kayagum too. So this is their national instrument. So every day, After their classes, they have their hagwon class, their second class. 
So they attend their second class or their hug one class based on their interest. So if their interest is on music, they then they go on music class. If their interest is on sports, then they go on sports. Ayan. So that's uh, um, the Korean educational system. And aside from the second class, they still need to go for the third class in a private school. That's why uh, uh, they have a very... Uh, good performance in the trends in mathematics and science survey and even in the PISA. Develop and apply critical skills for civic literacy. Example, critical inquiry, information technology, media literacy, critical thinking, decision making, problem solving, negotiation, peace building, and personal and social responsibility. Okay, so I must say that uh, before a kid can learn the value of peace building, the adults must understand it first. So as you can see in this uh, slide, we were engaged to a lot of activities on multicultural education, even outside Namyang Jusongra Elementary School. So this, uh, this is the event of Filipinos, Bangladesh, Chinese and Korean people. Okay, so it's a uh, multicultural campaign. So I had also opportunities to mingle with the Filipino community and to drink soju yeah, with the Korean friends and my landlord who is an Anglican uh, priest. To develop attitudes of care and empathy for others and uh, the environment and the respect for diversity. Okay, so part of my project is uh, to develop among our learners the empathy and care for others and to respect diversity. So there are Filipino food that they love most, like uh, they love Philippine mango, yes, they love lechon, uh, but most, most of them don't like sinigang. Maasim daw ang sinigan. They, uh, ito mga kids natin don't like it. So we need to respect what they like and don't like. So they, uh, they experience to cook some Filipino dishes and to wear our uh, uh, Philippine national costume. Okay, they also enjoyed the, uh, designing our mascara. Ayan. So yung mga, they, they appreciate the festivals in the Philippines. Okay, and... Uh, Ayan. Some of our learners in Korea also, they, uh, sabi nila, uh, Son Sing Nim, can we also uh, wear our uh, Korean hanbok? Ayan. So uh, it's just, it's, it's really, um, tawag dito, uh, appreciating one's uh, culture. Andyan yung kultura nila, ganun pala, no? Uh, doon sa kanila Philippine hanbok, kailangan itago nila yung kanilang kamay. Di ba? Kapag uh, ayun. Okay. Also, through their love for the environment, uh, they were able to showcase their talents no? in painting and came up with these outputs. Ayan, ito yung panahon na, sabi ko nga, ay, uh, uh, boom na boom yung issue natin sa Burakay. And uh, they came up with this uh, uh, message no? in their uh, uh, painting. Our future is in our hand. Ayan. So the balloon will burst soon. Save the earth. Just relax on the sun in the blue sky. Save the earth. Save, save, save the earth. Choose your island. Ayan. So uh, all our learners ay uh, nakagawa ng, ano, ng uh, painting, ng poster, just to relay their message, to encourage the people no, to manage properly our waste no and uh, i just featured this uh, three most um, uh, beautiful outputs develop values of fairness and social justice and skills to critically analyze inequalities based on gender socio economic status culture religion age and other issues ayan Also, to participate in and contribute to 
contemporary global issues at local, national, and global levels as informed, engaged, responsible, and responsive global citizens. How can we participate? How can we contribute? How can we address global issues at local, national, and global levels? How can we be responsible and responsive to our problems that we are encountering? My dear friends, I was able to come up with my re-entry application project. So please allow me to present to you my re-up. In this slide, you can see it's uh, the culminating program of uh, my project, Upgrading a Professional Learning Community. So this is Director Margarita Consolacion Ballesteros of uh, the DepEd International Cooperation Office. And uh, uh, 20 of our Korean learners visited my, my uh, home school in Pedro Guevara Elementary School in Binondo, Manila. And uh, they uh, showcased their talents. Ala BTS ang dating. Diba, no ating mga uh, Korean visitors. And uh, hindi rin naman nagpadaig ang ating mga estudyante at mga teachers from uh, uh, Pedro Guevara Elementary School in Binondo, Manila. My home school. Ayan yung mga kanil, kanil mga performances. And we were, we were able to invite uh, performers from the Department of Tourism and uh, from a private institution also. They enjoyed the uh, uh, playing kadang kadang and other uh, traditional games with uh, uh, the selected uh, learners of Pedro Guevara Elementary School, and they receive uh, uh, tokens, no, from uh, the Filipino teachers, and also another set of Filipino learners in Pedro Guevara Elementary School. Ay nagkaroon din sila ng chance na mag. Uh, I, uh, express yung kanilang uh, respect and love sa ating mga visitors sa pamamagitan ng nakikita nyo sa, sa, sa photo na ito. Yeah, nag, nag paint sila. Na, ayan, so sila po ang gumawa niyan. And itong mga Korean learners naman natin no, in the response ay uh, meron din silang uh, token na ini, iniabot. No? So it's just an exchange of uh, gifts. And of course, yan, since they love Lechon, and uh, thank you so much to uh, this uh, very supportive uh, uh, community in uh, Baranga, uh, in San Nicolas District of, uh, yan, of Manila. We were able to, ano, no, talagang uh, uh, very supportive ang um, ating mga politicians actually na nag-donate uh, nag ng mga Filipino foods. So they love lechon, the Philippine mango, and uh, um, tawag dito, halo-halo. They love halo-halo. Okay, and uh, kakanin. Yan, lahat na enjoy po nilang lahat yan. And of course, kilala naman tayo, di ba? We are very friendly. So after um, ng event, ay, uh, it's exchange of uh, contact numbers. So itong mga bata actually, uh, bawal ipakita ang mga photos ng mga bata without their permission. So in this case, uh, with the permission of Oma, yeah, the uh, Korean teacher, yan, so pumayag sila. And uh, this was posted in the social media already and even in YouTube. Yan. At tuwang-tuwa sila, even our, Korea, uh, our uh, Filipino learners in Pedro Guevara Elementary School ay uh, uh, nagkaroon sila exchange of social media accounts. So mga friends na ang mga ito ngayon. So uh, they are uh, grade 8 now. Okay, so part of my uh, application project, I, uh, I had an orientation to uh, parents on global citizenship education, the knowledge, values, and attitudes. I built the universe program. Ayan, so hindi lang dapat learners, kundi pati ang mga magulang din ay kailangan ma-orient about the GCED. And of course, the Project PILAC. So this is uh, an eye-opener for our teachers no? about uh, uh, 
learning uh, global citizenship education through professional learning action cell. So this is to develop uh, globally inclined teachers with responsible attitude through uh, professional learning action cell that I called Project PILAC. Ayan, so we, ha we have uh, more than 100 teachers in this school. It's a mega school, 170 plus teachers. Okay, so who underwent uh, uh, this uh, program. And of course, we expect uh, them to um, uh, embed the global citizenship education no, sa kanilang mga classes. And uh, we observed their classes. Uh, integrating global citizenship education values, and uh, these are some of uh, the the uh, sample for uh, sample uh, observation. Okay, in the first photo, uh, GSET values, humanitarian assistance, compassion, resilience, and gratitude, and this is an English class in the second grade. Okay. This is a Filipino class na pahahalagahan ng pagpapanatili ng kalinisan sa tahanan, sa komunidad at sa bansa. Okay, this is an AP class, environmental protection, sustainable development, peace, and non-violence. Ayan. And also, kailangan may mga GSED leaders in the school. Okay, so sila yung mga nanguna. Okay, sila po yung mga nanguna sa mga projects natin na ipinatupad on the uh, uh, global citizenship education in the school. And, uh, you know, there are projects like Four Peace. No? And uh, as you can see here, it's recycling. No? Pagre-recycle. Ito naman, mathematics, no? surface area. Pero... Meron pagre-recycle. It's a 4 R campaign. Reduce, reuse, recycle, respect. Okay. So, ang mga leaders natin ay lumabas ng community. Okay. And uh, of course, they need to understand yung kanilang role, yung kanilang duties and responsibilities as uh, global citizens na mapanatiling malinis ang kapaligiran and uh, yung uh, to support for hours campaign reduce reuse recycle and respect they must respect it kaya siya tinawag na for hours campaign okay sa paggawa ng um, uh, christmas uh, lanterns ayan so i think that's uh, sometime in november or december and even in the disaster, disaster preparedness ayan so kailangan sila maging handa okay and, uh, and on the third column yan in the Philippine Star, kita nyo yung basura na meron tayo sa Luneta Park. And uh, uh, na-surprise ang ating mga uh, participants sa Manila Bay Campaign because uh, mayroong grupo ng mga GSED advocates na mga bata no? with their tarpaulin. No? Meron silang mga hawak na mga banner saying uh, we really need to take care of the environment. Okay, so that's part of the re of my re-entry application project. And look what happened. Pinagkaguluhan po sila ng social media. And the one thing that I uh, I witnessed in uh, South Korea, I uh, nung first time namin na uh, kumain sa McDonald's and uh, after that, pinagtingin ng kami ng mga tao. Why? Kasi hindi namin niligpit ang aming kalat. We were not used to it. And so talagang bumalik kami at iligpit. And you know, uh, in, in, in my project, I really introduced uh, this practice in South Korea that we can also do it in the Philippines. So, uh, part of their, uh, you know, uh, uh, reward uh, doon sa ginawa nilang kabutihan ay uh, how much is, uh, you know, uh, 70 to 100 pesos each for each one of them and at the same time to learn the beauty of uh, global citizenship education. And eventually, there are groups from uh, the school, no? Pedro Guevara Elementary School. May mga batches no? through uh, uh, this project, I care, adapt a learner program. Nagkaroon pa ng signing of uh, no? memorandum of agreement. Dahil yung mga graduates natin, yung mga uh, alumni association ng Pedro Guevara Elementary School ay nalaman nila ang program and uh, nagkaroon na sila ng sponsor. Okay? I mean, uh, they, they sponsor this uh, program in school. 
So they provide they provided lunch no sa ating mga underprivileged na mga learners, selected underprivileged learners of the school. And also uh, the Philippine Coast Guard NCR conducted uh, this uh, uh, symposium no to uh, really educate our learners on the proper uh, ways um, uh, segregation. And the most prominent uh, uh, volunteer sponsor, the Buddhist Chuchi Foundation, na ang kanilang uh, hilig ay uh, ang pagre-recycle, talagang yun ang ina-advocate nila. Yan. So imagine of more than 7,000 learners in school uh, bringing plastic bottles. Then uh, we, we donate it sa uh, Buddhist Chuchi Foundation and uh, see what happened. We were able to... Uh, uh, improvise itong bangka na ito na yung isang isang uh, bangka na to ay uh, improvised both ay uh, donated sa Marikina and then the other one is in school yan and at the same time natuto ang mga bata no sa tamang uh, pamamaraan ng pagmanage natin ng ating mga basura and of course in school it is, of course, uh, supported by our parents Yan. with our urban gardening and vertical gardening as part of uh, the 4 hours campaign, Reduce, Reuse, Recycle, Respect. And at the same time, of course, tignan nyo naman the color ay uh, talagang maririmind ka, ako'y isang Pilipino, di ba? Na meron akong gampanin no? upang uh, mailigtas natin ang mundo. And uh, part of uh, the re-entry application project, this is just a reward. Parang uh, reward sa mga selected teachers. Uh, there were 14 teachers na napili no, based on their initiatives sa school and participation sa school projects. Ay nabigyan sila ng chance naman na pumunta noong 2019 sa Namyang Jusongra Elementary School for seven days. And uh, they, uh, we had a benchmark, no? of the best practices sa mga classrooms sa school na ito in South Korea. At tinumbasan nila yung uh, um, activities na ginawa namin noong, uh, sila naman, noong sila ay nagpunta sa, uh, sa Pedro Guevara Elementary School. Ayan. So, uh, uh, in this photo, you can see uh, nandiyan ang uh, uh, Nanta Show. Talagang musikero sila eh. And uh, ito, uh, tignan nyo ito. Yeah, how, this is how they welcome us. And of course, uh, their classes, as early as grade two, they are good in robotics. Ayan. They are good in violin, in playing violin and other musical instruments. They are good in sports. And they are good in academics. Because uh, their business really is education. And uh, it's global citizenship education as well. So uh, this is my uh, re-entry application project. Okay, the cover page, uh, Project PILAC, the first uh, phase of my uh, uh, project, developing globally inclined teachers with uh, responsible attitude through professional learning action. So, and the second phase is I build the universe with this uh, framework utilizing intercultural competence model for global transformation through professional learning action cell and educational approach of benchmarking wherein i focus uh, this project pilak with these components on curriculum instruction materials assessment the learning environment of course faculty development programs and uh, we were able to capture this uh, benchmark of success no, as solutions to global social issues like uh, the game-based learning, the urban vertical gardening, uh, cultural exchange uh, program, um, the Philippine, uh, Filipino-Korean uh, cuisine, ayan, understanding heritage, and so on, resulting to global transformation. And so GSED entails two common core dimensions, which are common to various definitions and interpretation of GSED. Okay, so these common core conceptual dimensions of global citizenship education draw on a review of related literature 
uh, the conceptual frameworks, approaches, and curricula on GSED. So these, uh, com uh, these core conceptual dimensions are based on and include uh, aspects from all these uh, three domains of learning. So the cognitive, uh, social, emotional, and uh, behavioral. So please take note of the colors. Uh, the blue represents the cognitive, the, the pink for social, emotional, and the green for behavioral. We'll, I will go over with, uh, with this um, um, global citizenship education domains of learning and uh, the key learning outcomes. So these are our expectations from the cognitive side, from the social emotional side, and from the behavioral side. And uh, these are the key learner attributes. Under cognitive level, we uh, expect informed and critical literate learner. Under social emotional, uh, we expect socially cognit uh, connected and respect respectful of diversity and for behavioral, ethically responsible and engaged learners. And uh, there are topics under these three domains of learning. So numbers one, two, and three for cognitive, socio-emotional are numbers four, five, and six, and uh, behavioral for numbers seven, eight, and nine. And uh, learning objectives are arranged by age or level of education. So the topics no, under blue category, yan, so local, national, and global systems and structures, ayan, so may range from 5 to 9 years old, 9 to 12 years old, 12 to 15 years old, and 15 to 18 plus years old. And uh, there are also issues affecting uh, interaction and connectedness of uh, communities at uh, local, national, and uh, global levels and underlying assumptions and uh, power dynamics. Okay, under uh, pink color naman, for numbers four, five, and six, the different levels of identity, okay, different communities uh, people belong to and how these are connected and the difference and respect for diversity. And for color green, green behave under behavioral actions that can be taken individually and collectively, ethically responsible behavior and getting engaged and taking action. Okay. So in Manila, uh, as part of uh, the, the project that I conducted is a five-star version 2.0. So five-star means flexible instructional videos to engage students and teachers towards achievable results. Yes, we are at the distance learning and uh, we appreciate no, the importance of learning video contents this time of pandemic. And so... Uh, I was able to uh, conceptualize with this project and uh, we are on the version 2.0. What is uh, 2.0? This is embedding global citizenship education, she said, across learning areas in making five-star learning video content. Okay, so um, um, I was uh, very grateful because uh, this uh, program was participated by... Uh, Uninvited the VIP from uh, University of Alberta, Faculty of Education, in the person of Professor Virginia Kawagas, an adjunct professor. And of course, I am uh, grateful to have uh, Dr. Margarita Consolacion uh, Ballesteros, who is uh, always uh, supportive in all our projects in GSED. Okay the director of the International Cooperation Office and uh, the all-out support of our president no, of the Korea-Philippines Teacher Exchange Program Alumni Association in the person of uh, uh, Mr. Danilo Osorio. And uh, we are looking forward to have uh, projects on uh, still GSED. GSED pa rin. But uh, how can we focus uh, our programs? Ang dami through uh, itong ating SDGs natin, ang dami natin dapat tignan na pwedeng i-focus ang ating uh, mga projects like uh, on SDG 1, no poverty. So we can have feeding program and so on. Especially SDG 4. Huwag natin kakalimutan SDG 4. That's uh, uh, quality education. 
Okay? And we also have SDG 13. Very important ang SDG 13 this time. Okay? So that's on climate change. And even SDG number 6. We have DepEd program called WINS, Wash in School. Ayan. So that is in response to SDG number 6. And of course, Etong, uh, we can uh, we could focus this uh, this uh, project no or our future projects on uh, the GZ teams like on human rights kaya itong uh, webinar natin no na ginawa on five star version 2.0 dito tayo nag-focus sa GZ teams like uh, Dr. Marco Meduranda uh my uh KPT no sa 2018 uh, KPTEP an English uh, supervisor no, with uh, his topic, GZ Integration Framework. Okay, I was able to invite uh, Dr. Maria Te uh, Teresa Pelones, the Dean of the College of Education from Mindanao State University, with her topic on uh, human rights, conflict, and peace building in GZ content. And the late uh, Dr. Renante Malano, uh, he discussed respect for diversity. And uh, the principal okay, of... Uh, Aguinaldo Integrated School, Mr. Josefino Mendoza II, uh, Globalization and Social Justice. And uh, meron tayong kasamahan, kapatid from uh, a division of Isabella, a recipient also of the 2019 Korea-Philippine Teacher Exchange Program, the person of Ms. Maan Silin Karag, SPA teacher of the uh, Kawayan City National High School. So I invited her to uh, uh, discuss about the SDGs. Okay in uh, or in, in integrating SDGs in in the classroom. Okay, so and there are other projects uh, of uh, GSED in SDO Manila like the projects of uh, our dear Kapatid then we call uh, we call each other Kapatid or KPTID. Um na naka-focus uh, no, sa ating uh, GSED. So uh, that concludes my uh, presentation. That's my adventure on uh, global citizenship education. So thank you so much for having me. Naniniwala ako na dahil kay inang pamantasan ang pagkatuto ay walang hangganan. Maraming salamat po for having me. Sa muli, ako si uh, George B. Borromeo at sumainyo ang PNU Talks. Maraming salamat po.